Hi, my name is Max. Welcome to Neat Box Laboratories. And today I want to talk about my Drum of Miners project and give a, an overview of it and what I originally intended to do with it and what I want to do in the future. And what this is, is uh, I want to use a standard 55 gallon drum and you can fit 12 S9s in it. And the main goals for this project uh, are not so much to recycle the heat but to manage it, uh, by generally by moving outside, but more importantly, to get rid of the noise. Uh, a single S9 is quite loud. 12 of them uh, is actually hazardous to your hearing health. And I think if we were to compare the cost of the oil cooling to ducting a dozen or so S9s, uh, I think the oil cooling is quite cost compatible and significantly easier to do. So let's take a closer look inside. Uh, all these drums are standard worldwide and they're two feet in diameter and three feet tall. Uh, I'm using one with a, a, a removable lid obviously so I can fit everything inside. Uh, and I made a frame out of 80-20 extrusion to mount everything and we can fit six miners per side uh, along with their Revel and power supplies. So to mount the power supplies, if we take the top cover off, uh, if you notice, if you draw a line three and three quarter inches from this side, we have a nice clear path where any screws will not interfere with the parts inside. And what we can do is just use a few low-profile heads, quarter-inch screws to attach the. Uh, this cover to the 8020 and then bolt the power supply onto it. For the oil distribution uh, I intended to make an oil gallery out of something like this like three quarter inch or maybe even one inch copper fittings and then just use a roll of T's down this side to ensure all the miners get adequate oil flow and then place a return line something like this on, on the other side. For the radiators, my original intention was to use uh, a large truck radiator from, from like a semi truck. However, uh, I found these two units on Craigslist. They're actually air handlers from a large air conditioning uh, setup. You know, they're brand new and a nice gentleman sold them to me from his church at prices that can only be described as charity. Um, they measure about 3 by 4 feet. They have a nice depth, a lot of copper to them, and I think about a quarter horsepower of fans will move enough air to keep our oil nice and cool. For the pump, I intend to use this Gould's 1MS centrifugal pump. Uh, it has a one and a half horsepower motor and should move about 45 pounds a minute of oil. Um, if you notice, it's uh, nice and smooth here uh, because this is a three-phase motor. You, you can tell it has no starting caps. Uh, so I'm going to use this variable frequency drive as both a phase converter but also as a speed controller. And possibly down the line we can see if we can reduce uh, the speed of the pump and make it use a little less energy to run. The original purpose of this project was to take all my miners and put them inside this drum. Uh, they were so loud that they made the space where they were in unusable for anything else. Uh, what I would like to do is, instead of using the 12 S9s, is I, I want to sell the S9s and get 6 S17s. So 6 S17s uh, should give about 330 terahashes running a full blast. Uh, and they should be able to fit in a space about two by uh, maybe four feet with the pump and effectively eliminate the noise or at least make it tolerable uh, for anyone to be around it. Uh, I'll post updates as this goes along but uh, I'd love to hear your opinions and comments on this. Uh, I think this right here is probably the most interesting and useful and cost effective immersion cooling setup. Um, anyway, comment, like, subscribe, and keep on mining the cryptos.